All right, gang. I'm getting drunk before I make this video. Anyway, we had to level these racks with each other and uh, got three different trees here. One, two, three. And uh, we're on an uneven surface and this may just be bullshit and I don't need anything in the comments, blog about, well, whatever. So we got to do what we got to do. We didn't plan on a project, you know, like this, it just got dropped in our lap and we're not going to back off of anything. So, to figure these racks, the, uh, the angles and everything, you get into that Pythagorean rim or whatever in the hell it's called. And uh, you gotta figure these damn angles. So what I did was, I figured the distance from this point back to this point I had to square the four corners up of the racks and get them in sync with each other and level. And then I figured the distance from the outside to the side beam to the inside over there. And then I go the distance up there and I'll make a triangle back down to this point. So it's got one leg to the end 190 degree leg and then you got the hypotenuse of the angle out here so i figured all that and it's what we call a compound diagonal or that's what i call a compound diagonal anyway and we wrote those numbers down and so you got to record everything i'm a little stuck up about that when i'm doing things compound diagonal from this corner up to the one up there is 15178 uh, the actual diagonals between the bases is 143 and a half over to there. And we were within tolerance. These are three eighths on that regular diagonal and then the compound diagonal is 151 and 13. So we're within a 16th from here up to the top of that one over there on the other side. And all you gotta do is make sure that those hypotenuse from those angles over there match up with the tops, same as these. That way you know each leg is level according to the math, excuse the shadow. And then, you know, you put levels on every damn thing you can. This one isn't done yet. This is where I'll bring you guys in at. We got those level. And we changed the bracket system around. I don't know if you can see it, poor light. We're taking these plates, excuse me, taking these plates and we're making them a round number up to the base. And they're all be generic. The center post is gonna have a plate, a plate on the inside, on both sides on the bottom and both sides on the top. That's the only one that's gonna have it because the braces are gonna run diagonal from lower left to up right as you're looking at them. These end ones are only gonna need a brace, one on the bottom, one on the top. You know, and you gotta decide which way you're gonna go. Uh, be lower left as you're looking at it, upper right, and then it's, you figure, you know, the same measurement here, we're going with 12 inches there. And we wrote it down. You need to write down everything and keep your finger out from in front of the camera. It's 12 inches to the bottom of the bottom one, 80 inches to the bottom of the top one. So now all we gotta do is lay our clips out, get them at the heights, tack them on, and then we could just about willy nilly, once we get these frames squared and leveled and we hit all our dimensions that we've already figured, we could just about hit them willy nilly. And it's like 35 degrees. That's general. Uh, we did the math on that. And there you go, that one's a little off. It's like a degree off, half a degree off. But I mean, it's gonna be fine. So anyway, boys and girls, that's what we have. And we gotta get that last rack set, last leg set. Now we're doing it as you use a pitch vial level 
And the way this pitch file levels work, they'll have all these little lines in there and they'll be eight quarter, three eighths, half inch off in, in a foot. So this one's an eighth inch off in a foot. So it's got to come up an eighth inch there. This thing's about uh, eight feet long. So you're looking at roughly an inch that we got to pick it up on the other end. All right. So we lightly clamp a brace across so this thing don't get stupid when we go to pick it up and want to just fall over and domino any of our previous progress. We just use the bar and we pry up under this end and we use a system of uh, shims and prayer and check it. Add about three quarters of an inch there. And we still need a little bit in that four foot. That's gonna be getting it level about a quarter and four. So we need roughly another half inch on this. So that's how we're doing it guys and girls. I gotta get back to it and make some money. Can't make videos all the time, gotta do some work. This is Mo, damn it. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Tire Creek Ironworks out.